Thank you, our host. Let me uh, briefly introduce myself. I am Mia Duan uh, from Semi Drive, Xinchi Technology. Semi Drive, this name, as you can see, is coined by our mission. Semiconductor can drive ev any everything. We are a uh, company produces auto grade semiconductor chips, and uh, it's our honor to be invited here to the Coronas Imagination Seminar. Today, I'd like to talk about the application of image compression technologies in high performance auto grade processor. Cell phones, automotives, digitalizations, and metaverse are the keywords now. And as the virtual world having the boundary with the real world getting blurred, many of those digitalized scenarios requires better graphic performances and a better compression. And the GPU would play a more important role. But luckily, we have Kronos and Imagination as one of our best partners. Imaginations, who's got over 30 years of uh, development experiences. Uh, a leader in technology and uh, recognized by the industry. And uh, we, Semi Drive, our auto grade processor developed by ourselves, have been equipped with the ninth generation of IMP with the PVSV3 uh, co image compression technology from Imagination. Let me talk about the application of that today. First, a part of my speech about that compression technology and application. And second part, I'd like to talk more about our company. Well, the first slide here, you can see I quote from Imagination, the PVRIC V3, lossless common case. This is a block-based compression technology. The lossless uh, the compression ratio very high, while the loss rate very low. And uh, for us, in video, uh, graphic, and a display, they use the uniform compression, very high efficiency, 50%, which improves memory access efficiency and it reduces power consumption. The DPU can directly read the compressed frame buffer and can directly decompress it online while displaying without additional memory consumption. So you can see here, for our DPU, it supports uh, stacking to up, uh, of up to five layers, including four external inputs and one background color. And each layer can be uh, uh, set separately. And layer one and two supports format conversion. So for those layers, during the display, uh, they can directly get synthesized without 3D GPU or 2D GPU participation. So it doesn't need extra memory read and write. So the efficiency is really high, the latency is pretty low. And then for the semi drive uh, on Android and Linux, uh, we support GPU multi layer synthesis so that we can improve the uh, Android and Linux performance. And this is also from the uh, sharing of magician. And uh, since we are doing the automotive uh, chips, and this is the comparison. Then let me introduce to you about the application on semi drive uh, products. So on the left side, that's released uh, during the Shanghai Auto Show. The uh, cockpit SOC uh, X9U it supports 10 displays. And how did we do it? We have the imagination uh, GPU and we have the BBS V3 uh, technology. We used the 2 32 uh, bit uh, VDDR4 and it supports up to 10 displays. You can take a look at the video. And this is our demo in Shanghai Auto Show. And when released, a lot of OEMs are interested, and a lot of them are using this chip to design their cockpit products. For example, we have the HUD, we have the, uh, the panel, and also the entertainment screen, all powered by the uh, one chip. On the right side, that is the architecture of the chip. So X9U uh, cockpit, e-cockpit, it has a 100 uh, 
KD Max, the heating power and the GPU uh, and uh, performance is uh, really good. And we have uh, a hard separation, hard uh, solution to help the OEM to design the product. Uh, maybe it's just one screen, but it can go up to 10 screen. We have the rear view mirror and also the panel and uh, the the dashboard and the entertainment screen, all powered by the chip. And this is the cooperation between us and the imagination. Then, maybe with some uh, of that in mind, we can talk a little bit about semi drive. So we are doing the auto gray chip. Uh, we support uh, it has a cockpit, gateway, connectivity, autopilot, a powertrain. You can see that we cover all of the vehicle. And this is our roadmap. And through this, you can see our products. On the first line, that's X9 chip uh, for cockpit, for e cockpit. Uh, X9 comes from experience because we think that the cockpit can bring the passengers better experience. That's why it's called X9. We have the uh, Eco Middle High and X9 HPU. Those two uh, product lines are already in production. And then we have the S, SB, CC, and the uh, next gen uh, central computing the performance of the, uh, the chip uh, go from uh, 100 to uh, 200 and 300 kb MIPS. and the second is for A8S, uh, it's for uh, it's V9, it comes from vision, because we know that for A8S, we need a lot of uh, sensors, and that, we, that was why we call it V. So V9M, uh, that means it supports AVM for AV. For V9T, uh, it can be used for L2-8S or controller, so it can connect to 18 cameras. And uh, then V9P uh, or U, uh, and also on the right side, they are in R&D. And then uh, the third line is uh, G9. Is for the gateway. Um, so G comes from gateway. G9SX or G9V are already in mass production and a lot of OEMs are already using it. And it goes from central gateway to cross domain, uh, do, uh, cross domain gateway and a central controller. And the last line is MCU because now uh, there is the uh, silicon shortage. So in 2022, in April, we launched our uh, original IP MCU E3 series. It's a uh, uh, ACLD level. It can be used for powertrain or chassis or body control. We cover all of the scenarios. So let's go back to this picture. Um, the auto grade ship, uh, we cover all of the scenarios. Why did we have that kind of planning? Because in China, there are, we, we want a Chinese chip company. And also, the full scenario uh, coverage can help tier one or OEM in their planning of the product and during their R&D or during their whole body DDS uh, or during the IDPS or during the layering of uh, uh, different applications it can really provide a lot of help with this product and uh, with this product families coming from the same uh, supplier of course the uh, efficiency is much better this is our roadmap so the key here is about X9, because uh, this is the outcome of the cooperation with the imagination. So just now, as I said before, X9 can go from a single cluster. We have uh, the dashboard, we have chips to support that, and also for the customers, if you want the uh, central control uh, screen, uh, maybe you can have the one screen multiple system, like uh, virtualization or uh, hard. 
isolation, uh, we can use that, we can have the virtualization, we can get their Aircon, Linux, Unix, and uh, dashboard, and then we have uh, uh, the entertainment running Android, and uh, for the control, it runs another OS, it's fine. X9 can support that. And uh, on the third uh, example, this is uh, uh, the dashboard uh, with a screen. So with uh, uh, heart separation or not, uh, semi drive can support that. And for the number of screens, uh, just now I already introduced you that we can support up to 10 screens. And for our uh, chip, it's pin to pin. Uh, hardware software compatible. So for the entry level uh, configuration or the uh, mid end or high end, you can do the compatible uh, development with the same setting. So since we are doing the auto create chip, but from the chip to the dashboard to the cockpit, actually there are different layers of software. For example, on the chip, we need to run the OS, uh, maybe Linux, maybe Android, and you need virtualization or uh, you need the virtualization, you may need a hypervisor or so on. And then up the level, there's the uh, middleware and also the compiler and so on. And if you want to do the dashboard or HMI, then maybe you need to use Unity, Kenzie, Qt. So for those things listed, they are our partners, just like uh, imagination. We, we only supply the chips, but uh, uh, we will cooperate with uh, the partners that are also suppliers to our customers. We can provide the solutions when the customers uh, choose and review to save them some time. So on the left, those are some of the uh, IEPs and also the IC partners like Imagination. Uh, and also we have uh, some other IP companies and also packaging and testing. And on the second column, that's OS, uh, we have uh, QNX and uh, uh, Zebra as our partner. So on those apps, uh, when they're using QNX or when they're using commercial uh, Unix, they can do the development. And then for the basic uh, app, we have the uh, vector uh, ITS, or we have uh, the CES, CTC, and uh, we have the Microsoft Reach. And then we have the tools and protocol safety category of first player, uh, HMI related. And also, uh, we have the security things like uh, the Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi protocol and so on. And the uh, application column uh, includes a lot of other partners like uh, Tencent or uh, AMAP. And, uh, we have some other autonomous driving partners, and on the right side, that's the total solution. Uh, those are, uh, we have uh, the CITOs and GPOs and COTE and so on. They are also cooperating with us with uh, different uh, uh, OEMs. So when you choose Semi Drive, we are a professional chip company. We also have a chain of tools and a uh, ecosystem to support our customers. That is the situation. So that's my presentation today. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Zhang.